This is a PC case that is not out yet. You've probably seen some video footage of it at CES and photos. We're gonna take a look today at the Lian Li O11 Vision designed in collaboration with PC Master Race. Let's get this thing unboxed some changes uh, compared to the O11D and the O11XL. It's a lot of glass in the front as well. It's, just, it's glass, glass, glass is the name of this. A lot of case manufacturers now are trying to get some of that sweet height action, some of that uh, fishbowl action. Definitely becoming something that you're seeing more and more where you wanna see inside the case from the top and all the sides. In case manufacturers are listening, this was designed in collaboration with our good friend Pedro at PC Master Race, who has developed an awesome community. Shout out PC Master Race. It's interesting seeing a Lee and Lee case with a glass top, especially such a big case. Now, a question that we did have about this glass top and, and the corners holding it together is how's it gonna hold up in shipping? For a company like us that, that ships thousands of computers to people, that's something that I definitely want to check out. And we got the case in white, as you can see, because <laughs> whiteout builds, are, they're very popular right now. First, I want to talk about some of the obvious changes that you uh, can notice. Top, glass. How that affects fans and thermals and all of those good things, that we'll, we'll have to put to the test. Another interesting thing about the glass up top, this has a slight mirror coating on the top glass so it gives you a slight reflection if you're in like lower light conditions and things like that is a good way to preview how that has an effect on the upper glass the idea with that is pc master race all about the rgb and if you've got rgb going on in this case the idea is that that top glass has a little bit of a reflective ability to kind of shoot it back down we're gonna try that as well and just show you what it looks like let's remove this side panel i want to talk about some things going on inside the case oh this would be a good thing to have this is a, a plastic protector that ships with the case it's actually very smart when you have a case like this the idea is obviously that there's no massive corner stand in here you want to have this unobstructed view that's what's keeping everything together that's how you're able to achieve that clean look without having a big old metal rod here sticking out to hold the case together. Another thing you'll notice in this case is the removable motherboard tray. This is very similar to the Evo refresh. It's just, just that easy. And you have a little bit better access to everything by doing that. So very cool that's included. One of the first things that I was kind of curious about when we got the case is obviously you lose the ability to mount anything up top because well, it's glass. So what kind of thermals will we get in this new vision case from Lee and Lee. Down here below, you can mount up to 320 or 140 millimeter fans. On the side, a little bit different, up to 320 millimeter fans or 240 millimeter fans. What's it looking like in terms of the heat in this case? Well, there's only one way to find out and that's by putting everything in there that we can. I9, 14th gen proc, the most beefy components possible is the only way to truly put this case through its paces. So that's exactly Exactly what we're gonna do. Let's also talk about some of the uh, the cosmetics. You know, you've got obviously you have your like your removable dust filter uh, in the case. That's nice. We love that. Let's take a look at the back. See what they did here. You have a nice PC Master Race badge and Lee and Lee badge on there. This is cool. This flips out as well. You've got all your parts and components, your screws, all that good stuff in here. Very nice. You know, guys, this is it's an O11. This is an O11 where they've done some cosmetic updates and certainly had some fun with the case. Let's get to building. Enough about talking about the case, let's build in it. We're gonna do a little build montage here. If you're not into the montage, you just want a summary on the case, you can skip to the next chapter. But for now, let's roll the cinema.
Ta-da! The O11 Vision build complete, and we have some thoughts. A very fun build, but I wanna talk about the components that we decided to use in this build just to give you an idea of what we have going on here. For the processor, we went with the i9-14900KF. Wanted something that would run nice and toasty, just really put this thing through its paces. ASRock Steel Legend Z790 motherboard. We also went with the ASRock Steel Legend 7800 XT for the graphics card. Kingston Renegade, 32 gigs of 64. 400 DDR5 memory, terabyte M.2, two terabyte SSD game drive, Lee and Lee Galahad LCD AIO for the cooler. This is brand new from Lee and Lee. And fun fact, the L Connect software that comes with the cooler allows you to do some pretty cool screen capture stuff. You can actually capture whatever's happening on your screen and record that and run it as a loop on the cooler, which is very, very cool. Love that. Lee and Lee Infinity fans, white fans, we went with seven of those, and you'll notice an extra one here for the exhaust that we'll talk about in a second. White sleeved cables and a MSI 1000 watt power supply completes this new build. And as you would anticipate, it's very similar to the O11. The only, only big difference, as we talked about earlier, is you have the glass panel up top, which causes you to lose the ability to add those three fans that you could normally put up top in a regular O11 case. But you do gain an extra exhaust fan by being able to move down the motherboard mounting position in this case. So that is a plus. Aesthetics of the case, main one being, talked about earlier about the two-way reflective coating on the glass. Now it's not quite as cool to see in this heavy light condition of the studio. As we were building the system, some of our builders came in to check out the new case and tried to put their hands through the glass. You couldn't even tell that the glass was there because we had the system in a low light condition. So if you're someone who you know has your PC next to you when you're gaming and it's sitting there and, and you wanna gaze at your beautiful handiwork, this would be an awesome case for that, especially in those low light conditions because this two-way reflective glass can play some tricks with your eyes and it's actually very, very cool. So really enjoyed that. It's, it's an O11, but they've made a couple little changes to it. They didn't mess with a good thing. I think they hit it out of the park. We really enjoyed building in it. In terms of the thermals, obviously it's always going to vary depending on what components that you use, but given what we used, we didn't do any undervolting or anything crazy. Everything is out of the box, stock bio settings, 92 degrees max on the processor, running under a full synthetic load. Pretty good. Your results may vary depending on, you know, if you win the CPU and motherboard lottery, everything's gonna vary depending. Uh, there's, there's always some variation. Pretty impressed, thermals look good, case looks awesome. This is the Lee and Lee O11 Vision, very first build. If there are some other cases you'd like us to check out, I invite you to let me know in the comments. This one was a lot of fun to build in. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>